Hello there and thank you for joining me for Going Life's Longevity Weekly with me, Chris Kerwin. So again, this is just a quick synopsis of some of the incredible work that our researchers have been looking at this week. And this week we've got three fascinating topics, all in the world of health, wellness and longevity. So without further ado, please sit back and enjoy. As we get into old age, we tend to lose muscle mass. This is called atrophy or shrinking of the muscles. As we lose this, this can have a sort of two-pronged effect on our weight gain. Firstly, having less muscle actually requires less calories to sustain a healthy weight. So if you carry on eating the same amount, then you're in a calorie surplus, which results in weight gain. The second way is that if you lose muscle, then you lose the mobility to freely exercise and move around to burn calories. This again creates a calorie surplus. L-glutamine is an amino acid. These are the fundamental building blocks of proteins that make up our muscle. In a double-blind placebo-controlled trial, mice who were fed just a small dosage of L-glutamine experienced an 80% increase in protein synthesis. This hints at L-glutamine being a really important part of keeping us young and strong going into old age. For our second topic, we looked at metformin and its potential of being one of the first anti-aging drugs. Metformin is a drug that is used to treat type 2 diabetes. It works by inhibiting the production of glucose by the liver. This reduces the blood sugar levels. In recent years, it has been shown that metformin can actually reduce the rates of biological aging in humans. It is also the subject of the TAME trial. This stands for the Targeting Aging with Metformin. However, there has been some controversy as to whether it increases or decreases the incidence of dementia. In a paper published in the American Diabetes Association, researchers took 123 individuals with diabetes and prescribed them metformin. Now, every two years following, they underwent neuropsychological testing and the differences were analysed. The results showed that those that took metformin not only had slower cognitive decline, but also experienced lower risk of developing dementia. Now, this is a fascinating study and it's really promising results for metformin being the first viable anti-aging drug. Now, in our third and final topic, we looked at a review that was published in 2019. This looked at the role that brown fat had to play in obesity and longevity. What is brown fat, I hear you ask? Well, adipose tissue in adults mainly consists of white fat. White fat is something that we're all familiar with. It's the fat that is adept at storing calories and is one of the main drivers of obesity, diabetes and high blood pressure. Now, brown fat is almost like the opposite of this. Brown fat is packed with mitochondria, which are organelles within the cells, which instead of hoarding calories, actually burn it to create heat. When we're younger, we have quite a lot of this brown fat on our bodies. But as we get older, this store diminishes. In the 2019 review, the authors talk about some of the possible molecular mechanics which leads to this age-related diminishing of the brown fat. It also goes on to talk about how brown fat stimulation might be a possible avenue for therapeutics against obesity and to increase human longevity in the future. And that is it for this week's Longevity Weekly. Thank you so much for joining and I hope you found that interesting. If you did and want to find out more information, please go and visit the Gowing Life website, www.gowinglife.com, where you can find out a whole lot more. So thank you again for joining and have a great day.